being worried about fuel, they're hardly alone. That feeling's become all too familiar in the past couple of years. The pounds ticking away much faster than the litres. And to fill the typical family car now will cost you 70, maybe 90 pounds. But if you're feeling pinched at the pumps, spare a thought for those whose whole livelihood depends on the cost of fuel. Darren Collins is in the haulage business. He drives a tipper truck, and tipper trucks eat fuel. He works for a small family-owned business based in Llandidrod Wells in Mid Wales. When you fill one of these lorries up, you look at that, you think, well, there's 600, 700 pounds of fuel gone in there. 700 pounds for a fill-up? You know, roughly, you know, I'm averaging three to 400 litres a day. You're filling up all the time, you know, you always seem to be constantly in a, in a filling station. And I wouldn't like to pay that bill myself. You know, it? and it's hard on everyone. Even with a penny off duty in the budget, diesel is close to £1.40 a litre. His industry's under pressure, and with a family of five to support, so is he. I hope you don't mind me asking about the numbers. How much do you actually take home? It averages about four fifty to five hundred pounds a week we take home. And that's with four nights out. That's where your nights out money as well. When was the last time that went up? Maybe three, maybe three and a half years ago, we had an increase. Because if you look at inflation, in real terms, you're now earning about, what, 15% less than you were back then? That's right, yes. Yeah, the cost of living's going up and they can't put the wages up to compensate for it. Darren's boss, Michael Goff, is fighting to keep the firm his granddad started on the road. He squeezed too. He can't pass on higher fuel costs to his customers. They'd go elsewhere. Lovely job. Cheers. It makes it very, very difficult for us to get a profit out of anything. You know, we're, we're, we're having to watch vehicles very closely um, on, on how far they go before they collect their next load. We cannot pass wage rises on to our drivers, who again are feeling their own pressures. And it's only fair that these boys get paid well for what they do. Have you given yourselves a pay rise? No, we haven't. We, we are in a very similar boat. We haven't had a wage rise here in many years. I'm the third generation in this business. You know, the last thing we want to do for ourselves and for our employees' sake is to shut the door and walk away. You know, we will do everything within our control to stop that from happening. Darren can't demand higher wages and his employers can't afford to pay them. So it's not as if inflation's being pushed up by pay rises at home. It's far more to do with price rises abroad, especially oil. But some economists fear that we will start demanding higher pay soon, and that could push inflation even higher. They want to raise interest rates now to prevent that. 